Strangest Theories About the Moon. Humans have been studying the moon for millennia. We've even traveled to it, but there's still so much we don't know. Some people, however, think they have the answers, unlikely as they might seem. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our upcoming videos. And if you end up enjoying this one, hit the like button before you go. Six, the Great Moon Hoax. In the summer of 1835, the New York Sun newspaper published six articles announcing the impossible. Life was discovered on the moon. The Sun had reprinted articles from the Edinburgh Journal of Science, describing how a famous astronomer at the time, Sir John Herschel, used a powerful new telescope to find creatures living on the moon. There were unicorns, two-legged beavers, and bat-like humanoids. Batmen, if you will all living in secret. The findings were incredible and readers couldn't wait to get their hands on the next article. Not a word of it was true. The Edinburgh Journal of Science had shut down its publication years before, and the article's author, Dr. Andrew Grant, didn't even exist. While it's clear now that these articles had been satire, readers at the time had completely believed this tale. Five, the man in the moon. In Western cultures, people looked to the moon's dark spots and saw a man's face or body, dubbing him the man in the moon. Tales of how he got up there vary. In one version, an old man went to collect firewood on a Sunday, but was punished by a passing stranger for working on a day of rest. The stranger sent the old man to the moon as an eternal example for those who saw him. We know now, however, that there is no man in the moon. No, not even Neil Armstrong. The moon's dark spots, or lunar maria, formed billions of years ago from ancient volcanic eruptions. As magma pooled across the surface, it cooled into large plains of basaltic rock and formed that iconic lunar patchwork we see today. 4. Made of cheese I hope this doesn't come as a shock to you, but the moon is not made of green cheese. It's not yellow cheese either. What may be surprising to you, however, is that very few people, if any besides children, have ever believed this theory. After all, how would the dairy cows get all the way up there? All jokes aside, the theory that the moon is made of cheese was only ever an old wives' tale meant to poke fun at people's gullibility. One of the earliest uses of this idea comes from a medieval folk tale in which a fox convinces a wolf hunting him that the reflection of the moon on a pond is a wheel of cheese. The foolish wolf drinks and drinks until he bursts, and the fox leaves unharmed and victorious. While never serious, this moon theory teaches us that, as with most theories, it's important not to take what we're told at face value. 3. Moon Madness Have you ever thought you were going mad when it was that time of the month again? By that time of the month, I, of course, mean the full moon. If so, you're not alone. For thousands of years, humans have believed the phases of the moon were connected to madness. Even the word lunacy comes from Luna, the Roman goddess of the moon. Whether from magic or the pull of tides on our mind, the full moon has been blamed for all sorts of people's strange behavior. The most well-known lunar madness is lycanthropy or werewolfism, but full moons were also thought to cause sleepwalking, epileptic seizures, and violent crimes. Lunar madness was so widely believed that in Victorian England, People on trial for murder could ask for leanings if their crime fell under a full moon. 2. Supermoon and Super Disasters The only thing super about a supermoon is that it appears closer and larger during the full moon. The key word here is appears. The moon isn't any closer and it affects the Earth as usual. However, this hasn't stopped even scientists from giving them a special power. The ability to create natural disasters. With the moon's effect on tides, the obvious disasters are tsunamis and storms. Some theorize that supermoons are much more powerful and can also cause 9.1 earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and massive wildfires. We still have one more theory, but first, I want to know, are there any fringe theories that you believe in? I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments below. 1. Spaceship Moon Theory to some, the moon is not only inhabited by aliens, but piloted by them too. Early science fiction novels told tales in which the moon was merely a shell to house E.T. underground, and some have taken a fun premise and run with it full steam ahead. In 1970, Soviet scientists Mikhail Vatin and Alexander Shevakov hypothesized that aliens have 
hollowed out the moon's core and hidden their spaceship inside for safekeeping. Their evidence? The moon's craters. No matter their size, the craters never go beneath a certain depth and they tend to be strangely flat or convex. To Vasin and Sherbakov, this would be impossible unless there was something hard keeping that space debris from going any deeper. Like a layer of metal hidden beneath the surface. While the moon aliens' motives are unclear, they've been watching us for millennia. Who knows if they like what they've seen? <laughs>